Czech Republic has been severely hit by the COVID-19 pandemic. Various restrictions have been an ordeal for the society. We have lost many loved ones. In the international evaluation of the Sustainable Development Goals, the Czech Republic has again placed among the top 10 countries. We have made significant progress on half of the targets and a number of partial steps on the other half. I hope I can say we are on the right track. There are nine years and one decade of action for us to achieve the goals. We do care about people, prosperity, partnership, peace and planet. We would like to be a country for the future. Climate change is everyone's concern. In the last five years, the Czech Republic has had to face both drought and flash floods. But the social climate is changing too. As such, our National Recovery Plan, Modernization Fund, Just Transition Fund, as well as operational programs support climate measures and contribute to the green transformation to the tune of 15.8 million euro. The protection of the environment and biodiversity is of crucial importance. Without resilient ecosystems, we will not be able to survive. We have committed to plant 10 million trees in cultural landscapes and cities by 2025. We motivate municipalities and households to use rainwater. Partnerships between civil society and the states are crucial for transforming our world. It is a great success that we have been able to develop cooperation between private entities, NGOs and public administration. Not only we appreciated initiatives and projects from various corners of sustainable development, but we also connect scientists and active citizens in order to achieve a sustainable restart of the Czech economy. don't have a plan B. SDGs are the only way Gigveyans hope that the Earth will remain habitable for humans. Despite the hostility of outer space, we can use it as a laboratory to find more environmentally friendly, sustainable and resilient solutions. If we look at our planet from distance, we realize that space is surprisingly the right place where we can find solutions. Think locally, act globally. Sustainability grows bottom-up. Every decision we make respects the local environment and represents a part of processes that go beyond us. Jihlava is well aware of that. At the same time, we meet the various needs of our citizens. We ensure the operation of composting plant and a reuse center. Due to industrial production, we thoroughly monitor air quality. We are turning a former factory into a culture incubator, promoting innovative, forms of education. No one can be left behind. In a country for the future, we want to be the city for the future. The condition of the regions is a reflection of the efforts of the entire country. Traditional heavy industry used to be a symbol not only of Moravian Silesian region, we have uh, decontaminated a large complex of blast furnaces, coke ovens, plants and coal mines. Yet the differences between the individual regions in the Czech Republic persist. It's time to look towards the future. The coal age is coming to an end and we are facing a transformation into a world of sustainability and not only energetical one. We need to invest in particular in innovation, education, and transport as well as in data infrastructure. The SDGs are indispensable. They inspire us, they give us a vision and a common language to act. As youth, we realize that our lives will be different from those of our parents and grandparents as we have to face new and formidable challenges. 
Our generation is aware that sustainability must become a part of our everyday lives. The Agenda 2030 is our compass on the way to a fairer society, to a society in which the action is based on scientific evidence. Well, the Czech foreign policy very much reflects the 2030 agenda. Our main goal is to achieve security, prosperity and sustainable development, as well as human dignity, including the protection of human rights. The Czech Republic also supports its partners in achieving sustainable development, building and strengthening preparedness and resilience. We take part in a number of excellent projects of bilateral and multilateral development cooperation, humanitarian assistance and transformation policy. Well, the Czech Republic is also fully committed to effective and fair multilateralism, which is firmly anchored in the rules-based international order. On the other hand, it is also an excellent opportunity to strengthen multilateral efforts in building back better for people and nature. In 2018, research and development expenditures reached almost 4 billion euro, and in 2019, they represented almost 2% of the GDP. We managed to fund key projects and the support invested in advanced technologies and innovative production is substantial. Still, it's crucial to put a stronger emphasis on this area. We have a pretty good reasons to be optimistic in terms of technologies, but technology itself is not enough to solve all of our problems. We cannot underestimate education, which does not end with graduation, because the ability to cope with technological changes is an issue of the entire society. Jihlava is successful in waste management. We have reduced the production of mixed municipal waste below 150 kilograms per capita per year. We financially motivate citizens to sort waste and we have expanded the collection of biodegradable waste. Waste is a raw material and the circular economy is the future. The overall production of harmful emissions is decreasing. Green transformations of the economy is a necessity but we need to focus even more in the regions of, on what we replace, for example, coal mining. Employment will another challenge that we will have to face in relation to ending coal production. Our aim is to create working and training conditions for every citizen. The Czech society still needs to put much more effort in the area of equal opportunities for women and men. Unfortunately, the SDG 5 is the only SDG in which the Czech Republic cannot report any considerable progress. Though we have managed to promote the postnatal paternity allowance and increase the maternity allowance, further systemic changes are necessary. The biggest challenge for all of us is currently a sustainable recovery after COVID-19. Our recovery means changing our energy mix and consumption habits cultivating our landscape, investing in education and health, and implement large-scale retraining programs. We perceive the upcoming presidency in the European Council in 2022 as a great opportunity to shift the EU initiative and the European Green Deal to the next level and an example for others.